Alright, so here it is. This is uh, my AMT slash Revell uh, kind of combination build. Um, I actually painted this body about five, uh, about four years ago and uh, never got around to finishing it. Uh, I was building the, AM, the old AMT 69 Chevelle kit. Um, so fast forward a few years and I buy the, the new 69 Chevelle body, or sorry, the new 69 Chevelle kit. And um, I actually painted the body Daytona yellow. Uh, I didn't really like it. I was going to uh, sand it down and repaint it, but something ended up happening, and uh, the body was damaged, so I couldn't really repair it. So I took this uh, body out of the box and uh, kind of uh, mashed it together with the... Uh, with the uh, new Revell 69 Chevelle. So on this one, uh, while well, it's turning here, um, parts box wheels, these wheels were actually on an old build, and I just really liked them. I thought they're pretty neat, uh, like an old style torque thrust. Uh, I took the SS decals from the Revell 69 Chevelle kit and uh, added them to the centers of the wheels. I don't know if it uh, shows when they're spinning, but I'll. Uh, I'll add some pictures in at the end just so you guys can uh, get a closer look at that. And these wheels also have uh, valve stems. Um, so the grill is uh, was cut out and the photo etch grill was added. Um, photo etch SS396 emblem in the grill. Um, I originally had photo etch emblems uh, for the fenders and for the marker lights. But uh, after looking at the uh, new Revell decals, I decided to uh, actually take off the photo etched and uh, put the decals on the fenders and the side marker lights. Um, the SS396 between the tail lights is actually still uh, photo etched and the grill. Um, I cut open the openings in the front grill. I didn't add the lights, which uh, it should probably have, but. Uh, I decided not to put anything in there. Um, I added some clear lenses for the headlights over just the chrome. Uh, this is the old grill, of course, so it doesn't have the doesn't have the separate headlights. Um, the exhaust tips from the the new kit. Uh, you can see the old tail lights. They're not too bad. They don't look as good as the uh, as the new one. The new ones, the uh, Revell really got it right with those. Uh, they look awesome. So. I'm actually going to build another one, um, probably in the near future, just to have a comparison of the bodies and stuff, which uh, I think will be cool. Uh, so I actually bare metal foiled the front bumper, the whole bumper. Uh, it was just something I wanted to try. Uh, bare metal foil on the fender lips, uh, all the bare metal foil for the trim, the back window, uh, the trim for the uh, blacked out panel between the tail lights is foiled. Uh, I added the side stripes from the new kit, uh, the white ones. I thought they kind of, originally I just was going to have it solid blue, and I figured, ah, it looks it looks good with the stripes, so I went with those. Uh, what else can I say here about this quickly? Um, so yeah, I had to do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of modifying to get this body to work with the, uh, um, the old body to work with the new chassis and stuff so I'll show the engine compartment and the chassis and stuff it it actually fit together once I I did a lot of test fitting and uh, it actually came together pretty decent the stance is uh, pretty close to one I wanted I wanted to sit a little bit tiny bit lower in the back but it just couldn't get it to, uh, um, get it down anymore but it's a pretty big tire in there so uh, I think it looks uh, looks pretty decent. Uh, Two-piece side mirror um, on there from the new kit. Uh, detailed the dash and stuff up. I'll try to get a picture of the interior. 
I did uh, quite a bit of detailing on the dash, added the decals and all the... Uh, I took out the console, um, sanded it down, and uh, I just wanted a floor shift. I didn't want the console. Um, no seat belts on this one, no engine wiring. Uh, I added a little uh, D stock to the windshield. Like This is like a weekend uh, guy's taking it to the track for the weekend. Um, again, like almost like a day two car, different rims. Uh, no headers on this one, but uh, that's about it for that. Uh, door handles are from the Revell kit. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. The paint is uh, Tamiya Dark. Or I'm not sure. I actually mixed a couple colors with this one. Uh, one coat on top of another. I can't remember. I think it was like a mica blue. No, not mica blue, a darker metallic blue. And I think I might have added a little bit of pearl on top. Uh, and then cleared it, polished it. I usually put some wax on, uh, wax off kind of thing. Um, photo wedge trunk, uh, trunk lock. Kind of see that in there. Uh, so we got some M&H Race Masters in the back. Um, that's about it for the body. Uh, this body actually turned out really nice for uh, having uh, been sitting in a box, but I had it covered nice and it actually seemed to survive pretty well. So uh, what we'll do now is uh, I'll pop off the hood and uh, kind of just show you show you under there a little bit. Okay, so here's under the hood. Uh, like I said, I didn't really do any, uh, didn't do any wiring on this one. Um, this is actually the uh, cowl from a 69 Olds kit. Um, I didn't fit it quite to the inner fender, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, a little bit of touch up there, I think, still on the black I'm going to do. Um... Yeah, so just a bunch of washes, uh, put the decals on. It's hard to, uh, sorry, hard to focus on this stuff. But uh, add the air cleaner decal and the valve cover decal. Bunch of panel line in the on the block and stuff. Master cylinder, washer bottle, some decals for the fan, caution fan. I don't know if that's uh, showing up or not there. Just a little bit of battery detail. Um, you can see the Chevelle, uh, Chevelle decals are actually pretty cool. Um, it's hard to see through the grill, um, just because it's black behind there, but, uh, 